This is Director Chats, the musical theatre podcast with me, Christian Bullen. On today's show, we have Broadway producer and entrepreneur, Mark Levine. Welcome, Mark. How are you today? Good morning. Nice to uh, be chatting with you today. Totally. Uh, you're in New York right now, right? I am right here in New York, right in Midtown Manhattan. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I'm quite far away from you over here in Hong Kong, and I'm, I'm guessing we've got around 12 hours between us. So uh, it's just your morning, but it's uh, my My evening. morning. I hope I look as awake as you look right now at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for agreeing to, um, to come on today. I'm really excited to have you um, and talk about all things Broadway. <laughs> I'm ready for you. I'm ready to talk. And Totally. So um, I'm just going to go straight in and sort of um, find out a little bit more about how you got into producing in the first place, really. Sure. Um, I've always loved the theatre. My parents exposed me to the theatre at a very young age and invested in a Broadway show when I was about 16 or 17. I became a super fan of that show and kept a scrapbook way before the internet and social media. <laughs> Super big fan of the show. Um, and then about 10 years ago, I was also given, I was given the opportunity to invest in a show called Nice Work If You Can Get It with Kelly O'Hara and Matthew Broderick. And it just, I got the bug. I loved going to, to opening night with my mom. And then mm. ever since then, I've been given the opportunity to, opportunity to raise money for other lead producers. And eventually I got the opportunity to put together a team of my own investors and get credit and get a seat at the table, so to speak. So 12 shows later from London to New York, here we are today. Wow. Pursuing my passion and for the theater. That's absolutely wonderful. So quite a few of the shows that you've been recently involved in producing have um, done really well. Um, we've had a uh, Company and Be More Chill and uh, Hades Town and The Sound Inside. So would you like to kind of tell us a bit more about how you got involved in some of those shows? And uh, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Uh, company, I got the opportunity to see, uh, be involved with when it was in the West End a few years ago. And I, I loved it. I was so proud to be part of this reimagining, restaging of a Sondheim classic. And the show went on to win the Olivier for Musical Revival. So I got to yeah, was do my incredible. first Olivier Award. Um, and then it was a week or so, two weeks or so from opening in New York when this all happened, uh, when COVID started. I fortunately got to bring a group of about 125 of my friends to a preview two nights beforehand. So it was oh. the last show that a, major, a big percentage of my friends got to see and that I got to see right before th this happened. So that's- uh, Such a shame, such a shame but, um, that it, the opening night got canceled, right? Uh, canceled for now, hopefully to yeah. be rescheduled. Uh, and mm -hmm. it was supposed to be on Stephen Sondheim's 90th. And wow. And 2020, we erased birthdays. And if we were gonna be 90, a major milestone birthday this year, we're just celebrating it all in 2021. <laughs> I think, yeah, everything's moved to 2021 at the moment. <laughs> Nobody has a birthday in 2020. No birthdays count. Nobody, <laughs> nobody gets a year older. We all start a, a, a skew of fresh in uh, 2021. Yeah, just a, a new fresh year. Um, yeah, I saw Company in London a couple of times and I was just, it was incredible production and, and Marianne Elliott's work is just, just fabulous. So um, yeah, and it was such a shame that it got closed, uh, but it will open again and uh, hopefully it will open again and, uh, the pond. Hopefully similar situation with Be More Chill, which was yeah. a show that started in, in America, New Jersey. Then we had the opportunity to do an off-Broadway production at the Signature Theatre and based on the extreme fan base, which was a younger fan base that's typical for Broadway, propelled mm -hmm. it with the soundtrack to, to Broadway. And that show was also uh, playing in London. That show was playing in London when this all happened. And I luckily, fortunately got the opportunity to be in London at the beginning of the year 
to see it at the other palace. Uh, a beautiful production with a wonderful cast of British actors and actresses. Um, uh, so that show, you know, got put on, on hold. Hopefully that show will, will be back stronger than ever uh, because it did bring a, a new fan base to the Broadway landscape, which is something so important and when you're developing theater to bring in new audiences and to ex extend the voices of, um, the voices of people that should be heard and bringing in new stories. And Be More Chill was a wonderful, new, unique uh, story, which really yeah. related to a I lot think, of different people. Yeah. I think it's got a very special message, uh, Be More Chill, um, like with regards to the, the squip bit and, and how like things can take over your minds if you're not careful and stuff like that. And I, and I think it is really important for young people to be able to connect with the material. So I love that show. Um, yeah, would you say it's in the same realm as certain kind of other shows that have been trending ar around Broadway at the moment? No, I, I think Be More Chill really created a wonderful space for shows down the line because it mm. really, it, it just clicked with a, with a whole new group. There were parents that were dropping their kids off at the theater and then <laughs> picking them back up. Um, that, and the fan base of people waiting outside the th both the Broadway theater and the off-Broadway theater was just very exciting, mm. very exciting to see. I've been fortunate enough to have fans reach out and just, for hours of phone conversations with fans about the show and um yeah and it's... and the mu the music was very much you know like as much of like a thing as as the show itself like uh, young people downloading it and listening to the album stuff yes. like that and i th yeah and that's great as well you know <laughs> yes it's hard to find uh shows like that but i think i i, I might have found that Ooh. show 